I want to start with a quote from Robert Baden Powell. He said, if you make yourself indispensable to your employer, he is not going to part with you in a hurry, no matter what it costs him. How do you become indispensable without training your replacement? And I mean that by there's this fear that some people have that they've worked so hard to make themselves indispensable, but if somebody comes along and wants to learn the same skill set, they're so afraid of teaching them that skill set because that would make them replaceable then. Yeah, I mean, th this is a very real um, situation. And, and I think back to when I got started in this career in insurance, uh, there were some you know top producing agents that have told me now that in the beginning they would not return my call because they didn't want to give me any type of um, leg up on possibly reaching the success that they've had and, and even further, uh, which is funny looking back uh, because now we joke about it. But the reality is in, in becoming indispensable, being indispensable from an employer perspective, if you're someone that's not only excelling but is pouring into other people and helping them excel, that is what makes you indispensable. Um, because anybody can go out and, and sell, anybody can go out and succeed in their business, but it takes a very, very unique and skilled individual to be able to teach other people to do the same thing. And I think that when it comes to a situation where, you know, maybe you know, the economy is down, maybe business as a whole for the organization uh, isn't going well, and they have to look at potentially making cuts, they're going to be way less apt to cut the person that's helping others succeed as well. Um, even if the others that are succeeding are succeeding at a higher level than the person that's helping the others succeed. Um, so I think it kind of gets down to servant, servant leadership. Um, if you're not just doing what you're doing for you, but you're helping others around you, kind of the, the high tide raises all ships. If you are that high tide, but you're also helping raise those other ships around you, not just by example, but by literally like helping them. Like, hey, what if you were to do it this way? Hey, this is the way I, you know, um, battled that issue in the past for me. Um, people are gonna take notice of that. Like that stuff never goes unnoticed. And so that's the type of person that you want to be, the person that's willing, not just willing, but able, uh, but willing and able to help the people around you succeed. And if you help, this is an old Jim Rohn quote that I was about to use as my own, but if you help everybody get what they want, you'll have everything that you want. Uh, it's kind of paraphrased, uh, but it's true. And if you're somebody within an organization that is helping other people succeed, then you are indispensable.